An hour a half a day, five days a week. This is where Missy Jones spends her lunch break. I come pretty much every day of the week, Monday through Friday, on my lunch hour. Whether she's in the gym or at her office, there's always one thing by her side. Pretty much the whole time while I'm at work, there's a bottle of water sitting at my desk. Definitely, as you saw, when I'm working out, go through one or two bottles of water. Um, but at home, it's more water from purification system in our refrigerator. Today's selection is clear choice, not for it being the only brand available at the gym, but because Missy likes to think the label says something about its content. Just knowing that um, hopefully there's no chemicals, that it's clean water, that it's pure, so it's good for me to drink. True, but with every drink, Missy could unknowingly be increasing her risk for developing a cavity. Really? I didn't know that. So we're seeing more in, in children. We're seeing a lot in young adults because of the different drinking choices they're making. And as we're seeing statistically, bottled water is becoming almost the number two drink consumed other than pop now. Dr. Ken Gleichman of Dental Associates in West Des Moines says he's seeing more young patients with tooth decay on the smooth surfaces of the teeth, which can be attributed to a lack of fluoride, a chemical commonly found in city tap water and absent in almost all bottled waters. Part of the chemical that they found that can help protect the enamel of the teeth by remineralizing the crystals on the enamel. The first fluoride treatment to tap water can be traced back to the 1950s when city municipalities began adding the chemical into water supplies to combat tooth decay in children. After the fluoridating practice began, dentists saw a 60% decrease in the problem. Fluoride has been added to the Des Moines Waterworks uh, water here since 1959, and we do that strictly for, uh, to help prevent dental decay. Adding fluoride is the last in a series of steps taken to purify water before it's pumped to consumers and costs the city around $95,000 each year. We do have some uh, uh, fluoride in the raw water, typically in the 0.4 parts per million, and so we add enough liquid to that to make it uh, in the neighborhood of 1 to 1.2 is what we shoot for. And if you use a tap but have a reverse osmosis system, you could still be losing fluoride. And that removes the fluoride from it. If you have a home water treatment and reverse osmosis, you're doing the same thing. So you could be changing your own tap water and taking the fluoride out of it all, so you're missing it then. That is not anything I have ever heard of. It's a little bit more here. But if it's still too hard to let go of your bottle of water, Dr. Gleichman says there are steps everyone can take to ensure they won't be the next patient going under the drill. Brushing twice a day at home with toothpaste or more after meals is number one important. That's the easiest way to do it. Uh, Over-the-counter fluoride mouth rinse, Actor FluoraGuard are two products that you can use that's very good, and we recommend that a lot for kids. As for Missy, she plans to take today's new information and start tapping into a new source for water to continue her daily convenience. I can see myself, you know, drinking the bottle of water and filling that back up with tap water. I can definitely see myself doing that.